Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial from a lesson every day. Today I'm going to share with you how to create an H1, H2, H3, H4 um, on uh, uh, Adobe Dreamweaver. Why very important? Because H1 is the what uh, um, the CEO engine engines or the Google engine is um, locating and uh, it is used to understand what your um, page is about or its parag or your paragraph or what's what's what are you what's what's your content. Okay, so you need to have an um, uh, an uh, an h tag okay in your in each page of your um uh, website okay so we have i just came to open uh, um this new um adobe dreamweaver css here and we are going to create uh, an uh, an h ta uh, tag okay you using html of course i just clicked control new okay and then html Let's just choose a layer here. Um, uh, well, let's see fixed header and for this one. Okay, and I will choose, of course, HTML5. Okay, and I will show the code is going to change, of course. Way to go. Um, let me clear, clean this up here. Right, so this is um the new uh, page that um uh, Adobe Dreamweaver has um, provided. As you can see here, this is maybe um an, an um a head or an H tag. As you can see here, I can um come and choose this instruction. Go to HTML heading. It's not hidden it's already a heading okay let's imagine i want to clean up the whole the entire document okay i want okay listen listen buddy i'll tell um the bit remover to um get rid of everything here okay body style i don't want the any style and i don't want anything at all html i just want no container nothing at all okay this is all i need the name of the page or the document of the page that i'm creating okay home for instance or whatever you call it whatever you want to and then here we come to design we'll find that it's all empty we can add some some something here okay um i'll just add some text okay for instance my first head okay or each each, each, each tag for instance um video games for instance okay this is uh normally this is if you look here you'll find that it's just nothing format it's nothing it's not a paragraph it's not a heading it's very very important that you name this one head here if you come to the code you'll find this very simple code here h1 and then you have the title and then you have a closing um uh, the head the head okay now uh, what's the thing it's pretty normal okay you don't really want something to be this way okay for your website you will have to decorate it a little bit okay so you come here and then you go to um, still with HTML and then it's a bold it's already bold actually so it's italicize it and then of course you you, you click here and then you find that it's each and it's uh, this new tag is, is being added but I need to change the color for instance I will come here and then choose the color okay this is CSS um, let me just use this one and create a new file. A new t uh, so this is the text text here, <coughs> and the, this is the name of the, um, the selector. Okay, great. This is uh, something ni nice here. You can add and then add whatever you want to. Now the size of this is not really um, not what I want. Just put a new size over there and call it also text this is the, the name of the selector text okay nice okay and now let's go to the code you can copy this code here to any place any HTML um, uh, 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 platform and then you will get the same results okay the same results you will get whatever you write here for instance you can write fashion and then copy it to any place and then you will get a, a heading 
okay and then you can start your text here and then you can come to heading number two you can you always use um html and then format and then you choose heading two heading three and so on so forth the headings are very important for ceo